Hello, so I've reconfigured these settings to increase the shook file size and reduce the ABRIS side size. Now if you and to bring the shook file closer to my primary display. Now if you missed um, the previous troubleshooting video, essentially what we have here is one primary viewport which will render the cockpit display forward, center, and forward. And this is rendered at 1920 by 1080. And the left MFCD, which is the shook valve, is offset to the right by the width of the monitor, 1920, plus the width of the ABRIS. And then it's um, taking up the complete height of the monitor and at a 4 to 3 ratio. So its width is 1440. The ABRIS is set just um, beyond my primary monitor. Its width is reduced to 480 and it's in the middle of the screen. Now to get this to render on my left, my, physic my monitor physically, that's on my left, I have to go into uh, right click on Windows 7 desktop and go to screen resolution and what I do is I simply drag monitor 1 to the right. Monitor 2 is my primary display and the other monitor is on its left. So when I want to load the game I simply drag this monitor to the right. Now the main cockpit display will be on this monitor and when it pushes the shook file and ABRIS to the right they will render in this window here which will be outputted to my leftmost monitor. Now this would be very confusing if it was being used for Windows because to access the left monitor I would have to move my mouse to the right. But just for the purposes of playing the game it's it's fine. It's because I won't be using the monitor for any drag and drop purposes. It would just be rendering the shook file in Abris. Now let's see how this looks in game. So just to quickly confirm that the resolution is set at 2.19.20 by 1080p monitor, so it's 3.840 by 1.080, and it's using my two monitor profile for Black Shark. So if you look now, this seems to be on my left, and this window here appears to be on the right, but this is actually on my right physical monitor, and this is rendered on my left physical monitor. And the cockpit interactive interface, everything works. I can click on the buttons. The shook file is much more clear now. So rather than having to try and see what's on that little rendering there, I can see very clearly what exactly I'm targeting.